Welcome, everybody. Welcome. We're here on Zoom and on Facebook Live. Uh, greetings, greetings as everybody's coming on board. Um, I'm kind of moving quick and fast because I got a download on the way coming to the Cosmic Center Spiritual Light, and I want to whole retain the information that came in. And it came in through Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman, okay, and uh, of course, uh, I know most of us know who Harriet Tubman is, but uh, to remind everybody, Harriet Tubman was an enslaved woman. This was the time of slavery uh, in, in the United States at the time, uh, so this is like the late, and this was, I think, in the late 1700s to the 1800s, which wasn't that long ago, really, when you think about it now, it wasn't that long ago. Um, just maybe two or three three generations now. Um, but at any rate, what she's known for is not only she just free herself by escaping slavery. She, she didn't go like, oh, that's it. I'm out. <laughs> I'm good. Let me move on with my life. No, 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 no. She went back several times, like several times and took like hundreds. She, she actually helped to bring about the freedom of hundreds and hundreds of slaves okay so and there's a movie about it so if you if you're not familiar you could either go to the movie i'm sure they have it on netflix or someplace like that now or you could read the book about her but anyhow she was a great emancipator so why i believe she came to me i was thinking about you know waking up we're all beginning to wake up the great awakening is now taking place and that's when her quotation came in so strong uh, that I realized that I felt a presence. And I said, oh my gosh, this is Harriet Tubman, who I respect tremendously because she was a powerful, powerful, powerful light worker. Okay, now she spits and those that were close around her said, no, let her just go whatever is going on with her with these fits. But she would get information because she was tapped either to her higher self, the angelic realm, you know, a higher um, uh, divine uh, guidance she was tapped into. And it was this divine higher guidance. She didn't go, let's say, let's try and do it this way. The reason why she was so successful, okay, in being able to navigate, now you have to understand, right? No maps, no nothing, you know. How deep is the water? There's people chasing you. You have little babies. I mean, you just can't imagine the whole thing. Everybody's scared. But she knew the plan because this higher guidance was guiding her, which helped her to guide everybody else. That's why she had so many successful sessions. It wasn't her. It's what she was tapped into. So if you really study the story about her, they talk about how they all, they saw her as a prophet, as a prophetess. They saw her as a seer, okay, that she said, so there was this one time, I think, where the story is told. And so this guy is like, no, we can't go here. The water's too deep. We may. And she says, I'm telling you to go here. That'll be your choice, whatever it was. And it took great faith for people to trust her with their lives. And sure enough, whatever she did, where the water, you don't know how deep it is, was able to get this. So she was like, you know, at the time, like the FBI most wanted, you know, of course, she was just, um, she, and her, if they ever caught her, she'd be in big trouble because this was an economic dynamic that was taking place right now. So this is something she did because she did do a book. She did have a bit of a memoir or, or else somebody wrote a book about her while she was still alive. She lived to an old age. And she said that she had her, her famous quote, one of her famous quotes was, um, she said, I could have, I could have helped free a lot more people. She said a lot more people, but she said they did not know they were slaves. That's her famous quote. She said, I could have freed so many more people but they did not know they were slaves. They were like, no, what are you talking about? Oh, I'm not going to risk my, they had no clue. So 
how this all kind of came about is we are all awakening right now on different levels wherever we are on that process of our own unique journey. And as we are waking up, okay, I do believe like Harriet was awake. She's like, oh, wow, this is not right. You know, this no human should be enslaved. Okay, now you have to, this is another twist to this now, okay? There's an axiom that says, as above, so below. So below, as above. So if there's the concept of slavery happening, happening in our level of creation timeline, okay, it exists in this thing, it has for, you know, like ever since the beginning, there's been slavery practice where there was the oppressed and the oppressor, part of that has to do with the illusion that somehow we're separate from each other. So if you go back in history, that's why I really do study history. You're like, this is the same repeating pattern. Who, who put this pattern in place? Who put this pattern in place? And so you have to start to think, well, if there's slavery, on this level, throughout history, you know, the, the Egyptians and the Jews and the Greeks and the Romans and on and on and on and on and on, then the concept of slavery or being oppressed or saying you're different from me, um, so I'm, I'm in a hierarchy like the Romans with a hierarchy than everybody else with something else, which we still have that today. We still have the elitist. Okay, and then you have, and, you know, I would say in our society, there's a real effort just to eliminate the middle class. Let's keep everybody in poverty and, you know, trying to make it to the next day, you know, and so forth. And so even though these are not pleasant concepts to think about, that doesn't mean they don't exist. Now, you know, and a lot of people, oh, that's negative, and you're bringing that up, and da da da. Well, I don't know where you've been on the planet, but if you just observe, okay, there's some stuff going on here that's uncomfortable and don't like it either, but can't pretend it doesn't exist. And more importantly, what can we do? What can we do? You know, it isn't Jesus the Christ came in and said, well, you know, well, you know, humans, you know, they're probably going to, you know, kill me. Okay, and I'm going to go through a whole lot of stuff, but his love was so uh, powerful and unconditional. He says, I got to do something. I got to help. I have got to help. That's why as he's dying, his last breath is, God, forgive them for they know not what they do. They are still in the dream world or a matrix world, whatever name you want to call it. And I want to put out there, you know, I know there are a lot of light workers who are already awake or awakening, uh, well, let's just say that just logically, if Harriet Tubman, okay, could say they didn't know they were slaves, and so they didn't come along on the journey, then there is a higher level that means that concept of slavery exists. And then it, it, it forces you to go beyond the confines of this and to if that axiom as above, so below, so below as above, is there not where there are us that say, we don't know we're enslaved. You know, you could have a person back then that said, well, you know, maybe they were the house slave. And they're like, well, at least, you know, I got a bed and I can eat and I'm grateful for this. Okay, I'm grateful for this. I understand that, okay? And then you say, well, but I was born into this. My father did it. My father's father did it and so on down the line. Unless somebody says, no, it never used to be that way. You were once, okay, but the memory, okay, the, the, the memory begins to fade in generation, which is why this, the manipulation, any slavery uh, uh, a group, not taught to read, not taught to write, okay? And so what about in this day and age? There's a lot of stuff going on we don't know about. And people that try to say, hey, wait a minute, we want more transparency. And unless the people rise up and say, wait a minute, they say, no, that's okay, we got it, 
okay? When there is absolute power, power is absolutely, okay, uh, misused. And so I feel that Harriet Tubman came in terms of her experience and helping us now because she would be the type of soul that would say, well, I'm just not going to abandon the earth and I'm on my way. Uh, I wouldn't blame her. She took a vacation, but, you know, she could come back and kind of help out. We still have a long way to go because, Harriet, there's so many of us with, that don't know we're slaves. We don't know that we're slaves. There's a lot that have no clue, no clue. But there's this great awakening that's taking place. All right. And you go back to history and you look at the same repeat. But now we're at a point of where there are civilizations, to say the Maya and others, who actually did make the ascension. Now that we have a go round, my understanding, it doesn't necessarily happen each and every time. There's an opportunity each and every time. Sometimes like training wheels, you have to, well, we missed this time, we're gonna do it again. But I think we're at such, at such a pivotal point that we definitely can make that quantum leap and bring everybody else with us. It's not just us. Our goal is to bring as many people and wake them up to any way that we are able to do it as individually and, and as collectively. So this is what I, I, I sense and I feel very strongly. As we dedicate to raising our own frequency, just raising our own frequency, Okay, don't have to be out there like, you know, God bless Joan of Arc and all the others like that. Okay, and they have their roles. Okay, but let's just say, you know, uh, you're busy with life. Of course, this role is, keeps you very busy with life. Okay, um, and you just say, you know, I'm going to focus on raising my frequency and I'm just going to try my best to come to be a better version of myself, aligning with unconditional love unconditional love. I'm going to test how much I could do that because when you do, okay, and you're dedicated to that, you have a whole new perspective and vantage point to work from just like how Harriet Tubman did. Now she made the happen because she hit her head or whatever happened, but the bottom line is she got tapped in to a higher frequency that not only guided her, but for her to guide others. Also, too, when you raise your frequency, okay, not only are you going to go on your own personal ascension, because we're all, if you're here listening to these birds, you are, whether you're aware of it or not, on a personal ascension path. This is the lifetime we can say, okay, we can make this happen. But also, you are the illuminating body, just like the Christ, the divine Maitreya, the illuminator where you have the Shakti. Whereas you hold that higher frequency, you don't have to know the person. You could go into a 7-Eleven, go get your cup of coffee and stand next to somebody. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, get your coffee and leave and ship that person because their frequency just got raised. Why? Just by you being pleasant. Hello, have a nice day. I have seen where people just be nice. Hi, how are you? Have a nice day. I don't care what circumstances it in, what that person may look like, whatever it is, that has nothing to do with who you are and the light you hold. Okay, you can say good afternoon, good morning, how are you? Can I get that for you? And you see the shift in energy immediately, immediately. You know, they may just like look in your eyes, that may be the thing that they could do. You don't know what that person is going through, but maybe you just gave this little tiny respite where they have faith in humanity, like, wow, somebody recognized me or whatever the case might be, or you just made my day, whatever that is. And I know there's so many of us, you know, that we really do try to get, because we all have loving and caring hearts. We all have loving and caring hearts. So the message here, I feel that Harriet Tubman wants to share with everybody is that she literally performed miracles and she shifted a timeline. She shifted, not by herself. There were others, but she was a big component because she was like a, 
at the end, I think it was in World War II, they recruited her to be like a colonel or general or somebody. She was like a, you know, undercover FBI, CIA reconnaissance person. This is a, you know, enslaved black woman, okay, that they were like, hi, can you lead us? This is the military. So she tapped into something amazing that we all can. And what, guess what was her number one feature? She was fearless, fearless, because she knew who she was and what she was tapped into. She knew that she was tapped into her higher guidance and saying, go here, watch out for that, do it this way. And she shifted a timeline. So I feel so strong, and I hope that's everything you wanted to say, Harriet, <laughs> that we are literally, literally shifting timelines right now, right now. Because there's a timeline that's going down like this, marching down, not for the best interest of the planet or for us, for we are like the interceptors. Like, whoop. We remember who we are and what we're tapped into. And guess what we're going to do? We're just going to raise our own frequency and then collectively raise the frequency of others. And then all of us are raising our frequencies. And guess what? When we do that, we cannot be stopped. But if we fall into fear, if we don't know who we are, okay, just as Harry said, they didn't know they were slaves. So programmed, so deep is the matrix, which I know because the divine mother showed me was like a vat of molasses. That's how thick the illusion is. That's how thick it is. There are people who are taking their life because they think this is it. I'm like, no, no, there's so much more. That's what Jesus Christ and great avatars of light came to say, there is so much more going on. This is not the end all. And so as we pierce through that, I love the Truman Show. You know, yeah. I love the Truman Show because it's like, and this is, you're going to say, okay, so wait a minute, let me think this through. It's like, that doesn't make sense. I want to say, this is a sales axiom that I learned in sales. I use it to today. It says, if something doesn't make sense, like that doesn't make sense. That means there's something you don't know. If something doesn't make sense, it's like, that shouldn't be that way. That means there's something you don't know. And I've used that throughout my life. I said, there's some more to the story with this situation because it's just not making sense. And as you dig deep, you're like, oh, there you go. That's what's going on. So we have to become wise and smart, okay, and start tapping in on a regular basis to be the light of the world, which is what the assignment of Jesus told us. Be a light in all the avatars of light. Be a light to the world so people can see and go, oh, my gosh, wake up out of the dream. So let's take the... Uh, the model of beautiful uh, uh, Harriet Tubman, who was very connected to the higher parts of herself and uh, gave and, and shifted timelines, shifted timelines for sure. Okay, that's all I have to say. Now, just before I close, I just want to see on Facebook live that if you ever want to be part of the anchoring light transmission meditation you are most certainly welcome to we meet every wow. monday at the cosmic center spiritual light it is located in sarasota florida as well as on zoom so wherever you are around the world you can participate and uh, we encourage you to do that it does accelerate your path and uh, we welcome you to come. All you have to do is look on Facebook page, Cosmic Center Spiritual Light Facebook page. You will see the Anchoring Light Transmission Meditation with Baba Sharon. That's me. And um, click it, register, and then you're on. You're good. Always and always. We'll continue into perpetuity, I guess. All right. <laughs> the other thing I want to mention to everybody here, we have some amazing, 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 amazing events taking place. And one of them is the healing family patterns for constellations. What can light workers do? They can change the timeline of their own lineage. 
and there's somebody in the multiverse, some ancestor or descendant to come saying, I hope somebody does this, please. You are the ones that we are waiting for. And so this is going to be December 2nd. Um, it is uh, a lady by the name of Oksana Dot. She's been doing the Healing Family Patterns and Constellation for a number of years now. Very, very life-changing. So um, that's going to our website page. Look at the calendar and you will be able to see that. It's Saturday, December 2nd at 12 noon from 12 to 6. It's $111. And um, all the information will be on our website. I also want to mention that on December the 9th, there's going to be uh, another ecstatic dance holiday party. And the Actorians always said, remember your joy. So in the midst of all of this stuff, we also have to raise our energy by being joyful and the re-remembering of who we truly are. I also want to say that on 12-12, I don't have the flyer for that, but do go on that. We're having our series of manifestation and specifically manifestation of finances. And I want to tell you something, okay? Since we've been doing that, We've been getting bookings at the Cosmic Center because we also do weddings and we do rent a venue out. That has accelerated. And I do believe there's a correlation between that and what's happening now too. So um, a lot of good things. And then I'm, I do work on a project only the last uh, quarter of the year. My J-O-B, um, I'm a um, consultant in insurance. I know everything insurance, Medicare and corporate enrollment. And a project I was on just got extended okay which was more income for me and it is less work than the first one i'm like so i could do everything i need to do here and be paid i'm like okay i'm going to continue with this manifestation <laughs> intention so that's going to be on 12 12 we're going to work on the portals that's what we've been doing since 8 8 since the lion's gate so we got to remember who we are the power that we hold and if you really focus and commit it to it, it must happen. It is a divine law. So with that, I'm going to say namaste to our beautiful family light on Facebook Live. We will see you next time. Don't forget to go to our YouTube channel. We got so much amazing information there too. If you want to get triggered into the higher dimensions, go check out our YouTube channel. Okay. Namaste, family of light on Facebook life.